Well, did you all see this particular article right here referencing Shiba Inu and how Wells has a record 3,500% surge in activity? And then they asked us the question, is SHIB about to pump? Well, I mean, if you, if you all see Wells moving and see a surge in activity, then apparently maybe the insider, maybe the well knows that something's about to pop. So when we see these type of articles, we need to go to the price chart and verify and certify if it's actually occurring. If the market is about to pump in Shiba Inu, because if it is, we want to be in position to ride the wave. Let's look at this article real quick, and then we'll look at the price chart for Shiba Inu to see if the market is trending to the upside. Now, key takeaways, all right? Shiba Inu had a 3,580% rise in investor interest and outflows. Wait, hold up. If we're looking for the price to go up in Shiba Inu, we would want to see inflows increase and not outflows. Outflows would mean that money is leaving the cryptocurrency rather than it coming into the cryptocurrency. The next takeaway, well activity suggests major players are accumulating shift for potential gains. And then the last takeaway from the article is there's the possible there is the possible start of major uptrend if ship breaks resistance. Duh. Like if if it breaks resistance, then automatically your mentality needs to go into okay, I'm looking for the price to continue to ride higher. Crypto market analysis firm into the block reports a 3,580% rise in outflows from large holders. I'm wondering if that's coming from Binance because I've noticed on some other articles, some other videos, a lot of wells have moved their Binance off of that particular exchange and maybe Binance may be, it might enter into a reorganization or people are just unsure about the cryptocurrency exchange now. So they want to grab hold of their assets and take it off the exchange just in case something was to pop off. This uptick indicates a shift in investor sentiment towards SHIB, drawing considerable attention from the crypto community. The recent well activity within the Shiba Inu ecosystem has prompted analysts and investors alike to pay close attention to the token, analyzing the driving forces behind these substantial movements. All right, what do you guys think? Here's a chart that the article gives to us over the last three months. The outflows, the money leaving Shiba Inu. The larger outflows mean the token has been scooped off exchanges and into private wallets. This suggests investors are accumulating and judging by the numbers, price volatility could be expected. Now hold up, like I told you from my perspective, outflows means that people aren't trusting where those assets are located. It doesn't mean that they're accumulating. It simply means that they don't trust wherever their assets are at and they're taking it off that particular exchange. That's it. It doesn't mean that the market's gonna pump. But listening to the article or reading the article, it, it makes you wonder, okay, what's the real point of creating this article? Was it to make us click? Was it for us to read the article and actually see if that's occurring? Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the price chart on the CBE new to see the market actually is becoming more bullish. Majority of shipholders are out of money. These are the addresses, the volume, the money that's been coming in and out of these addresses and people currently holding the markets within CBE new. Most SHIBS investors are out of money. A total of 62.49% holders have lost out. In contrast to 34.31, which are currently enjoying a profit. Now you can kind of see the negative tone of the article. In the beginning, the well activity has increased. Is a pump about to happen? Pause. And now you're going to mention that 62.5% of investors people who are holding Shiba Inu is down they're losing money while only 34 percent is actually making money it's 
Shiba Inu has been in a downtrend from its December 17 peak, falling to just 87 points. That's ridiculous. Not even close to a penny on February the 6th. Its last uptrend ended at the horizontal resistance still showing the low found support at a significant descending trend line the upper level of a bear structure from mid-August 2022. So look at how confusing that chart looks. What do you think the market is trying to tell you with all of these lines and indicators and letters and shapes? Take all of that away and you can just simply see the trend into the market of Shiba Inu. To me, it just simply looks like it's consolidating. That's all. So let's run back to the chart in Shiba Inu. You guys can see here is our chart. And each of these areas represent either a sell zone, which is up here at the top, and the buy zones down here at the bottom. Now, when we did our price prediction in Shiba Inu, the market was trading around 962 points, right? Expected the price to go down in Shiba Inu and the market on the 8th of January. Check it out. It came precisely to where we said it's going to find support 12% on the 8th of January. And since then, look at where price has moved. It's been trending to the upside. It's a pretty good call there. All right, so let's go get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of this. We're going to get rid of this buy zone here into the market in Shiba Inu. And we're going to hold on to this buy zone down here. That's still valid because it didn't break below that. So now, here we are. Yeah. The market in Shiba Inu has shown us strength, meaning that the price has been trending up. Kudos. But let's not try to instill a pump, pause, or at least seeing the market in Shiba Inu go higher. Extremely higher. Here it is on the five day chart for Shiba Inu. You guys can see the prior couple of five day bars, price has been trending to the upside. Here it is on the weekly chart. Still look pretty bullish there, but I'm only bullish to the point that we're trending within a range. That's it. We may just simply see the market in Shiba Inu trade this direction for a while until it's ready to break out either to the upside or back down to lower prices. Okay. So let's look at this one through the 30 minute chart and then we'll drop a price prediction looking for the market in Shiba Inu to go higher. Okay, yeah, so we're trending on the 330 minute chart. It's not looking too bearish right now. So back on the daily. Yeah, three hour charts look good. Here it is on the five and the seven. So let me drop this price prediction. And we're going to give you another sell zone. And it's right here for Shiba Inu. So if the market doesn't go higher. We already understand that the market will continue to go down. Okay, so this has to be a target. We have to recognize that there is a potential for Shiba Inu to get rejected and begin a movement lower right in this zone. So if it happens, you can say that no one told you about it. That's our first target. Okay, either the low, which is only about 2% for where the price currently is now, to the high of the sell zone, which is five and a quarter. That's our first target. My second target is going to be at the second sell zone, either at the low or the high. At the low is 10.44%, 1100 points. Then at the high, 13.05%, 11 and a quarter points. That's it. Okay. Now we want the market in Shiba Inu to hold this particular buy zone down here now. We don't want to see price fall below this particular area because if it does, then we have to come in and readjust our price prediction. That's it. So I'm just looking for the market to consolidate, not necessarily move higher because of a record 3,500% increase in well activity. No, just mo just merely off of the price action. Go ahead and give me your thoughts. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.